there, I'm Gemma of Create on Your Campus, and I've got a project for us to do today together that I think you're really gonna enjoy. Now you may know that we're focusing on wood materials for the month of November and projects that align with that. So what better project than something you would find on a school campus than pencils? Today we've got an idea to make your own pencil decorations, which includes making a pencil toppers. So really fun. I'm gonna give you just a few ideas to get you started and then you can take it in your own direction. So what we need is some pencils. I've got a few blank pencils here. I have one without an eraser, two without an eraser, three without an eraser. And um, those will be great to just start off with glue, which we're gonna need, and perhaps a glue stick. These are just the basic materials we'll want. So just to make a really quick one with this project or with this pencil, I'm just gonna put a dot of glue on the top. And I happen to have, not too much glue, because then things slip and slide around. I happen to have some puff balls that are shiny. You may have puff balls at home, you may not. Then we wanna let that dry. And we've got a really simple pencil topper without much effort at all. So we let that one sort of set aside to dry. Um, I took it and poked it into a piece of cardboard because it was a sharp pencil. That way it can dry standing up and the puff ball won't fall off. Okay, the second idea I have is if you happen to have your access to pipe cleaners, then you could do a puff ball on the top or you could do and and or a pipe cleaner. So we'll do, I'll do the pipe cleaner first. So we'll take a pipe cleaner and we're gonna wrap it so that I have the end. I'm just gonna wrap right on top of the end that I wrapped. And in a moment when I'm done, I'll add a little glue. And then I think I'm just gonna wrap it around kind of like candy cane style until it stops. I don't want to go all the way down the pencil because then I won't be able to sharpen it when I need to. So this is another super simple way to decorate a pencil and we just put a little bit of hot glue, excuse me, school glue that doesn't want to come out at the bottom, which it's going to take a little time to dry, and a little bit at the top so that it doesn't move around. So I just put a little bit of glue in both of those places. And that's another easy way to decorate your pencil. And then the next way I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of paper. I already used half of it to decorate this pencil and I thought it was fun to have one eye. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this paper. What I need is a glue stick for that. So I'm gonna take my glue stick and I can't do it standing up, but I'm gonna put hot glue, hot, I keep saying hot glue, pen, um, school glue or glue stick and I'm just putting it around, so I just covered the back of the glue stick, like this, or the back of the paper. And then I'm gonna take another pencil, and I'm gonna put it up so that it's covering the wire, the wire piece that's at the top of the pencil, the metal piece, and I'm gonna roll it up. So you can see, since I put glue all along that side of the magazine page, I can glue and roll, and I want to roll it tightly so it's on the pencil super snugly. And the way, since we have glued it all down, if your pencil gets shorter and you need to sharpen it onto the place where it has the paper, because it's paper, you can let that go in the pencil sharpener too. But you do want to make sure all the parts are glued down, especially these ends. So I had an end that wasn't glued. I added a little extra glue and then I have that. So now I have a pencil with another eye. So that I can leave plain or I can add some puff balls or I get uh, googly eyes, anything that you have around the house. So that one we're going to do that way. I wanted to show you another idea how I did the fringy top. So I can take another piece of magazine or paper that you like the design of, can even be wrapping paper, and I'm gonna fold it in half. So this is the width of just a magazine page, which is about eight and a half inches. 
and I'm going to fold that down. I did use half the page, not the whole uh, 11 inch part of the page. I cut it in half. So we're going to fold that in half. And I see that I didn't get it exactly where my ends were touching. So I'm going to make an adjustment. And I'm just going to run my finger down that edge to make sure that it's really smooth. Then, you've probably already done this at school, I'm going to make fringe, but I'm making it really close together. So you can see they're probably about as wide as the scissors are. So you see that I'm making cuts, but I'm not going all the way to the end. I'm going to stop about half an inch before the top and I would keep going all the way. So this, I'm going to try and cut it kind of fast. And I think for the sake of our show here, I'm going to just cut it and make it a shorter piece. Then I'm going to put on the part of the paper that I did not cut, oh, and it tears easily, so we got us stuck to my finger. But that's okay, we're gonna be able to fix it. We just have to be gentle with our um, glue when we put it on the pencil. And the starting part of the pencil, or the paper, I wanna make sure that I've glued those two pieces together. I can even add a little extra glue next to it. That's just gluing the two pieces of paper together themselves. And then I have, uh, I'm going to cover just again the metal part of the pencil. And the same way that we rolled that magazine page, I'm just going to roll it snugly all the way to the end. You can see how it's fanning out a little bit. And this one, I think I didn't get it wrapped as tightly as I wanted to, but I have glue on it so it's going to dry and get stuck to the pencil. I need a little bit of glue for the end. Just put a little bit on that end piece and then I roll that up. And now, oh, I need to put a piece on the little glue on the second side of that part of the page because I did fold them over. And now you have another pencil topper. So we've got a couple really great ideas for you to get you started in your pencil decorating and I would love to hear about what designs you come up with. Enjoy making pencil decorations and we'll see you again soon. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.